We back, we back, we back. I hate when people do that too, so. Shout out to Seth Fowler. Go subscribe to Seth Fowler if you're into sneakers. Uh, he's a sneaker YouTuber. All right, we getting ready to get up out of here. I'm getting my stuff ready. I never really filmed from the crib, so I'm just like, hey, you know, why, why not film for the crib today? You know what I mean? Because... We need some type of uh, content because when it comes to this gig work, it's slow. Let me put you guys down. Let me get ready to get up on out of here. Get my stuff ready. This is my water. Got to stay hydrated in these hot sheets. Let me get my backpack. I'm like a 12-year-old. I still carry a backpack. This is uh, AirPods, can't leave home without these. All right, got my water, it makes my mouth water. Water, this is for my medication. I am diabetic, so I keep my insulin in here. And I also keep my machine to check my blood, my blood sugar levels. This baby, uh, let me show y'all the fit for the day. Fit for the day, nothing, nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy, just something slight. I'm saying, put y'all down, nothing too crazy. It's hot outside, so you know, nothing too crazy. You know what I mean? Nike T, uh, T by Nike, shorts by Eddie Bauer, socks by Nike. Shoes by Jordan brand, Nike. You know what I'm saying? We out here in this thing. But uh, this is definitely, I'm leaving the house exactly at 12, 12 p.m. So we're leaving the house 12 p.m. Look at my struggle goatee, y'all. I can't really grow facial hair. I've been trying to make this goatee connect forever. Struggle goatee. Yeah, we look a little crazy, but who cares? Nobody, listen, let me tell y'all a little something. For everybody, nobody cares. People are so consumed in their own world, they're not looking at you when you're out and about in these streets. They're really not. But let's hit the road, see what this day brings. Oh, y'all gotta say bye to Mocha. She's so sad. My mom's gone. My wife's at work. Say bye, Mocha. Bye, mamas. She's sad, y'all. But let's go hit these gig streets. All right, we at our first store of the day. First shop, Aldi's. My most hated store. But we're trying to get it shaking because we started late. Uh, this is a small order. It's like three items. Uh, Fourteen dollars for four miles. Those who know Aldi, you gotta pay for your cart and your bags. Come on, cart. Okay. All right, a little struggle there. <laughs> so yeah, you gotta pay for your cart and your bags. Let's go in here and shop this thing. Quick bags. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is the order, guys. Three items, but a lot of units. Right, this is the order, guys. It took like, jeez, maybe like two minutes to shop um, and check out because there wasn't a lot of people in line. Normally, Aldi has like one cashier. And the line is backed up, but the cashiers are fast. So let's load this in the whip. It's actually 3.9 miles away. Let's get this thing delivered, y'all. All right, I lied. That order was actually only $12. But as soon as we dropped that off, we was headed back to Publix and I picked up a CVS order that's $14 for 3.8 miles. It's hot, man. It's currently 97 degrees, what my car is telling me. 
Uh, the grill fill is probably 100 plus. Um, yeah, it's hot, man. Stay hydrated. And, you know, stay in cool areas. It's global warming is real. We about to melt out here in these streets, man. But let's go drop off this order. It was a very small order. It only had four uh, items in units. Um, so, yeah, it was just a case of order. Uh, some things for uh, first aid things, bandages, stuff like that. So, let's go drop this off. Uh, I've been trying to get something to eat for a while now, but orders keep popping up. So, you know, I'm going to take them orders over the food because I can always get some food. But uh, after I drop this old order off, we'll see what's shaking, what's cracking, what's going on. All right, we dropped that order off, that CVS order, and I was headed to get some food from Panda Express. And we got another order, a Lowe's order, $17 going four miles. And I'm like, yo, let me just, let me just keep the momentum. Let me get this rapid fire money, you know what I'm saying? It's already one o'clock. Um, I came out at 12, so right as of right now, which I know I probably won't keep this rate, but I've already made $26 in one hour. Um, taking small orders so that may be the key you know what I mean the key may be taking these little small orders and banging them out as quickly as possible um, I'm usually very picky with the orders because a lot of times um, you could wait and get a, a extremely big order which would be like anywhere between 40 and 50 dollars and sometimes it's better than taking you know two small orders you know what I'm saying in one hour you know what I mean but the math is mathing right now, so we're gonna keep the momentum going. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get as much as I possibly can. That is always the goal when you're doing gig work. You're trying to get as much money as you possibly can. Um, I know people have different monetary goals, but it's not like if you have a goal to hit $100 um, and you hit $200, you're gonna be like, damn, I hit 200 So let me stop chatting. Let me get to this Lowe's. Let me pick up this order. Y'all, Destination Lowe's, we made it. We out here. Look at these grills. Two twenty nine. Come get you a grill. You need a grill for the summer. It's too hot to be grilling out here, though. Let's go get these items. just pick up an order and I guess an accident happened over here it's crazy I hope everybody is fine I hope everybody made it out alive unscathed yeah it's crazy uh, we headed to Publix this is a very small order um, it's only nine dollars going two miles for like three items yeah. Hope oh, these people are alright, man. Accident crazy. Alright, we dropped that order off. It was a quick little order. Three items, nine dollars, going like 1.6 miles or something like that. Actually was missing one of the items. I did try to contact the customer uh to no avail. You know, it just be like that sometimes. The crazy thing is I always send an intro message. Uh, before when I start shopping, they have preloaded in, uh, intro messages on Instacart. They have preloaded messages. Period. I sent a custom one, one that I customized myself, um, and yeah, they answered back for that. Then when I told them they didn't have one of the items that they requested, crickets, yo. Know, like it happens all the time. I'm like, do these people like throw their phones? in the pool uh yeah so they went cricket so i refunded the item because you know if i can find something similar or something close to the equivalent i normally would get it but this was kind of something specific so i just refunded because you know i know people 
order things for a specific dietary needs and things like that and i would hate to get somebody the wrong thing but i do always feel bad when i just can't get the customer what they requested and it was only three items it was like two frozen pizzas and the drink but they didn't have the drink so hopefully they got water they got some juice at the crib uh, hopefully drinking that goat fuel what y'all know about this this is actually an energy drink made out of mushrooms i know it sounds disgusting but these drinks are fire um uh, this is a female black owned energy drink company i am uh, slowing down on the energy drinks uh i'm slowing down to i only drink coffee one day a week and that's on sunday that was yesterday but I just drunk this today because I'm like, I haven't had an energy drink in a while. Maybe about two weeks. I'm slowing down on them because uh, for CDLs, which is the job that I accepted, you have to get a medical certification to drive and energy drinks raises my blood pressure. So I slow down on drinking them because I want to keep my blood pressure down. So just drinking one now. Don't shoot me. You know what I mean? Don't shoot me. I'll have one every once in a while, but... I used to drink energy drinks religiously, like every day. Uh, the zero sugar ones, because I am diabetic. So it started to taste like juice to me because yeah, it's a drink that I can drink, zero sugar, and they taste good. You know, if you get the right one, it tastes chef kiss. But anyway, we out here posted, seeing if we can get another order. It is currently five, no, it is currently 4.05. I've only made 50 bucks. I've been out here for four hours. Whoo! So I'm, I'm only making $12 an hour right now. It's crazy in these streets, man. It's slow out here. That's how bad it is out here nowadays. But we gonna keep trucking. We gonna keep doing what we do. And you know, pray, hope for the best. And you know, turn lemons to lemonade like we always do. And I'll holler back once we get this next order. We just snatched up a two batch order going nine miles for 34 macaronis. Almost reminiscent of the old days when I used to get $2 per mile. That is not quite $2 a mile because you times nine times two, it's 18 miles. And then you do 18 times two. That would have to be $36 for this to be a $2 per mile round trip order. But listen, thank you Jesus, thank you God. Thank you Instacart guys, listen. I am not lick looking to give horse in the mouth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's old people saying, you know what I mean? It's not for the youngest. Do not look a gift horse in the mouth. I don't know what that means, but I would assume that that means count your blessings. Don't question the blessings. So let's go on up here, scoop this thing. Two batch order, two customers. Uh, It's about maybe 39 units together. It don't matter. Let's go Guys, get it. This is the order. Customer B is on top. Customer A is there. And it looks like the sky is about to open up. Glad I'll be able to get this stuff in the car before it opens up. And the customer is now responsive. You do have to use your best judgment. I did refund one thing because it was a specialty item chips. Um, yeah, so I didn't want to substitute with any type of chip because listen, I'm a chip connoisseur myself. And I put a chip in, that's the chip that I want. You know what I'm saying? So, they might be like me, they might not. But since they did not respond, I'm going to assume that they are like me. And I am going to refund their chip. We got some fried chicken smelling good. That's probably fried chicken. So good, y'all. Crazy thing is, as good as it be smelling, it don't be really seasoned seasoned. It's like a light seasoning. It be seasoned. 
season for life. Alright. bags let's go all right we just dropped off that first order now we headed to customer b uh like i said it's two miles away from customer a don't look like it's gonna rain anymore which is a great thing because yeah it's always hit or miss when it rains because sometimes it gets busy but you really can't do too many orders unless you want to get customers' groceries soaked. I mean, I have rain boots. Got my rain coat. I got my rain gear. It's on. It's in my car all the time. I never take it out. So I am always prepared. But who wants soggy groceries? Do you want soggy groceries? Do you pay to get soggy groceries? I don't think so. So let's head to this customer. Let's get them their groceries. All right, we posted up. Um, I just dropped off an order. It was like $16 for a few miles. Um, we posted up under this little canopy. It is drizzling a little bit out here. I don't know if y'all can see. Raining just a little bit. Um, it does say it's currently 642. It is saying that there's a 100% chance of rain at seven, 100% chance of rain at eight. So we gonna see. Um, your boy did hit a hundred dollars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Took me a little minute, but I hit a hundred dollars. And yeah, we out here. We're gonna see what we can get. Uh, it usually slows down um, the later it gets in the evening. But every now and then you might get like a big order when it's late. But that's usually not the case. But we're gonna see what it's hit it for. Continue to wait continue to hunt orders all right this might be the last order this was a big order in terms of like stuff that was heavy this lady has like eight cases of soda four cases of cat food 24 uh pack of cat food it's a lot but this order is 54 dollars going 19 miles this might be my last order for the day. This will bring me to $158 for the day. Um, depending on what it looks like, man. Hey, if I can just get me another quick order that puts me closer to 200, I will. But if nothing pops up, I'm just gonna head home. Head home to the wife, you know what I mean? To our fur baby. That is our doggy daughter, Mocha. Yeah, yeah, so we're gonna see. It is raining right now, drizzling, as you can see in the background. Slight drizzle, light drizzle, not too bad. That ain't affecting Nathan. It's not raining hard enough for me to throw on the, um, the rain boots and raincoat and all that stuff because that stuff is hot. So it needs to be raining hard for me to throw all of that stuff on. Light drizzle, a little water never hurt nobody. We're gonna go. We're going to drop this off to customer A. This is a two uh, customer batch, um, about 69 items. Uh, customer B, they probably only have like 12 of those items. All of the items are really going to the first customer that I'm dropping off now. So let's go drop this thing off, man.